Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with humility and with the heart, not just with the lips. And that people listen, listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, happy to be with you again this Sunday. And November will give way to December. That's how it is. Even the months are very giving. And that's what we'd like to talk about today, generosity. Alam niyo po ba ang motto ng mga buksingero? Ang motto po nila ay, it's better to give than to receive. Yan po ang magandang motto para sa buhay, mga kapatid. We were meant to give, not to keep. Are you a giving person? Or you a hoarding person? Even Mother Nature, the trees give fruits. The rivers give fishes. That's nature of nature. Why? Because the creator of nature is a very giving and a generous God. So what more can we say? Well, if we are not giving, we are not loving, we are not like God. Mga kapatid, please remember this. The bottom line is, God loved the world so much. He gave us His only begotten Son. So, tanong yung para sa atin lahat, am I a giving person? Or am I a selfish person? Marami sa atin po, ang naging sentro ng buhay ay pera. Pera, pera lang. Bottom line, pera. Lahat mga tao pwedeng kunin sa pera. Everybody has a price. Mga ganong mentality. We have, forgive, we have forgotten, mga kapatid. Ang pera po ay hindi po yan ang Diyos natin. Naalala po ba niyo yung kwento ng isang mama na naglalakad? Aba, nung naglalakad ay biglang may nakitang ay one dollar. Ay magmula ng ang ganda na sana nun eh. One dollar. Happy ending. Ay magmula na nun eh. Pag maglakad siya, ganyan na maglakad. Palaging nakatingin. Baka may one dollar, one dollar. Naku, hindi na ako so tumitingin sa mga sunrise, mga sunset. Wala yan. One dollar, one dollar. Yun isa tumitingin halos sa mukha ng family niya, mga kaibigan niya. Hindi. Yung pera pa rin. Worse, itong taong ito po. Pati ang Diyos, nakalimutan niya. Hindi na siya tumitingala sa Diyos sa kahahanap niya ng one dollar na yan. Mga kapatid, hanap buhay. Okay po yan. Pero kung minsan, yung hanap buhay, dahil sa pera, hanap patay na yan. Eh. Yung halos mamatay ka na, you sacrifice your health because of money. Hindi na po tama. Hanap patay. Mga relationships mo, namatay na, kasi pera ang inuuna mo. Wala mga kaibigan, wala yung mga mahirap na yan, basta pera, pinag-usapan, wala ng kaibigan, walang kamag-anak. May mga ganun po eh. Pati po, ang Diyos, nakalimutan mo. Pati yung ugali mo, na kamabuti, namatay. Hanap patay na yan dahil sa pera. Is your money making you an angry person? Pera, dahil sa pera, matapang, masungit, mayabang ka na. You have been corrupted by money. Think about it. Money is not everything. 
And, ang ganda po, ang dapat tanungin po natin, yung giving. Giving. How do we give? First of all, quantity. Quantity. Sabi po natin, magbigay ka ayon sa nararapat. According to your means. Somebody said, when God raises your quality of living, you also must raise your quality of giving. Pag tumataas po ang buhay mo, dumadami, ganun din sana po, tumataas din ang iyong pagiging mapagbigay. Ang problema po sa iba, tumaas na ang buhay nila sa yaman, etc. Ganun pa rin magbigay. Katiting, katiting, katiting. Parang yung sakrista na nag, nag-bell nung nakita yung collection. Katiting. Sabi ng pare, kampanahin mo nga. Sabi ng kampana, dagdagan, dagdagan, dagdagan. Pakayan ang sinasabi ni Lord sa iyo, mga kapatid. Generosity. Bukas palad. Ang ganda po yung picture niyan. Bukas ang palad. Ang kabaliktaran daw, sabi ni Father Alvarez, tikom ang palad. Ikaw ba'y bukas o tikom? Mga iba naman, half open. <laughs> Kunti, magkaroon. You know, mga kapatid, nung tayo pinanganak, ganito ang kamay ng isang sanggol. Selfishness. Very symbolic po. Pag mamamatay na pong tao, bukas na ang palad. Wala naman hong namatay na ano ka ganun. <laughs> yung mga nakahawak sa pera, ano ko mamamatay na ako, bigyan yung mga pera sa akin. Ayan. The, the movement of life is from this to this. Mga kapatid. And please, mga kapatid, ah, uh, yung pong pagbibigay, quantity, remember, quantity. Isa pang kwento po, naikwento ko na po sa inyo. Ito na po, eh, may isang mayaman, medyo mayabang pa, pero kuripot pa. May mga ganun po. Anyway, pag magsisimba siya, pa, gusto niya palagi sa harap, siyempre, para kita lahat ng mga tao. But aside from that, pag dumarating na yung collection, isang, isang araw, pag dumating collection, palagi niyang pinipinahan yung bulsa niya. O yun ako, yung 1,000, hindi. Ibibigay niya yung 20, pas, paspasan lang para hindi makita ng mga tao. So parang nakaisa siya palagi. Isang araw. Ganun ang ginawa niya. Lagyan niya ng 20. Maya maya may tumapik po sa likod niya. Pag tingin niya ganun, may inaabot na 1,000. Eh di, kinuha niya, nilagay niya sa koleksyon. Halos makonvict siya. Oh, kakaya naman ako. Buti pa yun. 1,000 ako, 20 lang. Parang medyo nag-iisip siya. Aba, mamaya po, tinapik uli siya ng mama sa likod. Sabi ng mama, Sir, yung, yung 1,000 po na yun, nahulog, nahulog kanina sa bulsa niyo. <laughs> Pagdukot niya, sumama yung 1,000. We cannot manipulate God. Alam nyo, ginagawa natin madalas, parang aso ang Diyos. Sige, konting bigay. Yung mga taong tumatahol dyan, sige, konting bigay para matahimik na sila at at peace ako, feel good na ako. Oh God, we need to learn more. Marami pa ho tayong dapat matutunan about true giving. Okay, giving ka, pero the quality of giving. First of all, ikaw ba ay give na give? Yan ang unang tanong eh. Marami sa atin kasi hindi give na give. One give, two gives, three gives, ganun. <laughs> hindi give na give at wala pang forgive. Yung, may mga tao po talagang buhos eh. May mga tao na mahal na tamo na kalkuladong kalkulado. Then, numero at hanggang dyan na lang ang limit. 
fine, it's your choice, it's your decision. But if we are to be like God, then we give more generously. You can't go wrong with generosity. Pwedeng lukuhin ka siguro ng mga tao. But there is the joy which the world cannot give nor take away. So, what are the elements of true giving? Ah, SSS. First, you give with sacrifice. Kung wala pong sakripisyo, hindi po true giving. Sacrifice. It means you go beyond your comfort zone. And as you always have heard this, you give until it hurts. You medyo masasaktan ka, medyo madidisturbo yung comfort zones mo. That's already true giving. If you really want quality giving, sacrifice. There can be no true service even and there can be no true love without sacrifice. So that's the first one. And uh, you go the extra mile. Ito po ang madalas. Ang gandito na lang, maraming salamat po, tapos na. But what if God said, anak, go another extra mile? Huh? Hirap na yata yan. Then you're beginning true giving then. Grace abounds when you go the extra mile. Yung talagang hindi na dapat pero sige pa rin, and you do it, that's true giving. Now we begin to know what true giving is. Ay punong-puno na. Minsan I had a recollection. Pagdating ko, about a thousand people, akala ko, well, sa compound ng school, mayroon silang you know, auditorium, hindi po. Doon po sa gym, alauna ng tanghali. <laughs> Can you imagine? Sabi ko, Lord, okay, okay. Pagsimula ko, the sound system was very bad. Ay, Diyos ko po, pa, halos sumisigaw ka na. Ay, sabi ko, Lord, sige po, bakit po pinapahirapan niyo? May mga ganun ka ng kona. Not only that, biglang nag-brown out. Naku, Wala na talaga, walang electric fan, wala na po. See, you see, akala natin ang gandito na lang, baka si Lord, kaya mo pa yan anak, kaya mo pa yan. But there is freedom and joy if you really go the extra mile. And sacrifice, the next S is give with a smile. <laughs> Mayroon po kasi magbigay na halos, sige na nga, para malis ka na. Yung mayroon ka pang matatanggap na parang insulto. Sige na, palagi ka nandito. Sige. Ah, napakasakit naman po kung hindi tayo magbigay. Huwag na lang tinsaktan yung damdamin ng iba. And never make feel people na kayo, kayo ay titingala sa akin. Kasi ako nagbibigay sa inyo. Yung ganun pong klaseng pagbibigay, eh, medyo hindi na po yata maganda. What if God, kung ang Diyos kaya sabihin sa atin, kayo ha, sobra na kayo. Kung every time you call from to God and mayroon siyang kasabihin palagi na hugot, galit. So, maybe you can give with a smile. God loves cheerful givers. Hmm? Amen. And, one more po, one more S. Ito, maganda po ito. Sacrifice with a smile and in secret. That when you give, you don't let the left hand know what your right hand is doing. That when you give, you don't have to broadcast. Ito, ibang Pharisees, they were looking for recognition. They were looking for appreciation. They were looking for palakpak. The Lord always tells us, do things in secret. And your father who sees things in secret will reward you a hundredfold. Yung pinalakpakan ka na po at hinangahan dito sa mundo, you already had your reward. 
you'll have no more reward in heaven. Come to think of it, bakit po kaya may mga taong masyadong ang buhay nila ay kung anong masabi ng ibang tao? May mga ganun po eh. Society siya, palagi dapat nababanggit siya. They find joy in that. I don't know. Well, of course, we all want recognition, but you ask yourself, what for? Para saan ba yan? Feel good? Siguro mas maganda po. Ano na lang yung anong sinasabi ng Diyos? Hindi yung anong sinasabi ng tao tungkol sa'yo. Mga kapatid, better to be expressive than to be impressive. Ang buhay mo, panay pa-impress? Ano yan? Para matalbogan mo ang iba, ma- o oh, yung yaman mo, ang galing mo, ang sikat mo, ang ya- what for? Sure, normal po yan, pero that's not our whole life. What the Father tells us, that's the most important thing. Alam po yung impressive, pakitang tao. Expressive, pakitang puso. That's work on being expressive. Impressive? No. You have to grow up. Because that is not what God wants us to do in this world. Pa-impress. Go to the social media. Pa-impressan. Ano ba? Mga rilo, kung ano-ano. Pati yung kinain, pinipicturean. <laughs> Pa, oy, masarap ang ulam namin kayo. May ulam ba kayo? Parang gano'n ang, ang feeling mo kumisan eh. So dear friends, um, give. True giving is when you give with no agenda. No hidden agenda. Lord, lahat kami, we need to be reminded again and again. Tanggalin na po namin yung agenda. Stick to giving. At sana po, you don't give to get. Give kita, pero get ako. Parang yung, tawag ba yan? Vendo machine. <laughs> Maghulog ka para may makuha ka. Well, it's your choice. The saints remind us what true giving is all about. They gave up possessions. They gave up honor. Because doing it, they were doing it dahil sa pagmamahal. And they had that joy which the world cannot give nor take away. Yung pinikturan ka, joy ka kasi, may joy ka kasi, wow, napikturan ka, etc. But that's temporary. After one day, nobody, who cares about that? But if you do it, it will continue in the heart and memory of God. So mga kapatid, don't forget the other kinds of giving din, ha? Thanksgiving. Ano pa? Forgiving. Ano pa po? Be life giving. Ano pa bang giving? Uh, alms giving. Basta giving. Focus more on the giving, less on the getting. And mga kapatid, please don't forget. You share everything because of the heart. See, may mga giving without the heart. Eh. So, today, may you just uh, perhaps start with giving? Time. What can we give? Time. The time you listen to one another, you text people, kumusta ka? You text people, uh, and it's very... That's time. Okay? Give time for others. Time is not yours alone. Time for others. Number two, talents. You have talents. You give your talents for free. There are many professionals always for a fee. How about doing your profession for free. I know many doctors who do that quietly. Yan po. Yan po ang maganda. And, of course, treasures. Treasures. 
Okay, in preparation for Christmas, pwede po ba ang una natin gagawin ay decongest your room. Doable po yan eh. Decongest your how houses. Mga hindi mo na ginagamit, please, magagamit pa yan ng iba. So, assignment ha? Start it. Why? With love. Because that pleases God. And you know what? It's good for yourself. You feel good when you clean up something, you fix a mess, you dispose something. Do it now. Decongest. And put, us, put aside na ito, we can give this. Yeah, that's just giving surplus. Ha? Huwag naman panekang surplus lang. Beyond that, why don't you perhaps start now or mayroon tayong konting cash na pwedeng i-donate. Do it. Do it. And you who are in the position to do that, blessed are you. But you know what? You're more blessed if you become a blessing for others. You have been gifted. You have received so much. Wow, blessed are you. But please remember, you were gifted to give. You know, selfishness makes us miserable. That's the bottom line. Loving and giving sets us free. And so, how about one more? Cleaning up the heart. Giving your heart to God. Confession. Making a resolution. And cleaning up your bad character. Mga ugaling masasama. These are the best gifts which we offer now to the Lord. This is now for us. Basta importante yung mahalaga. And whatever you do, you do it with the heart. And that's okay. Like yung ginagawa naming harana, mission band harana, every after the Mass. Well, below professional level, definitely. But we're just doing it with the heart, with joy, and something we can offer. Kahit papano. Remember this, kahit konting pagtingin, basta nanggagaling sa'yo at nanggagaling sa puso mo. Okay na okay na yan kay Lord. Mga kapatid, salamat po for the gift of giving in our lives. Mama Mary, our loving mother, teaches us true generosity and giving. Now we profess our faith as we pray.